Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your mid-September general reading. It's a general reading, so it won't resonate with everyone. If it does resonate with you, great. If it doesn't, it's all right. I'm gonna do a five card advice spread. All right. So the first card is you, right where you are. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for true, accurate messages for Gemini. Messages like love and light, truth and clarity. All right, ooh, Gemini. Okay. All right, bottom of the deck, the Ace of Swords. So um, very decisive and divisive information, either given from you or coming toward you this communication comes a new start now it's said to be victorious for you know the quarant the person that's getting a reading and that's gemini so with this new start you can have victory you know whatever you choose after this communication comes in you could be giving it or, or someone's giving it to you. Let's see. This is you right where you are. The Queen of Swords. That's typically my Gemini card too. Um, exacting truth. Giving truth. Expects nothing but the truth. This could be you giving this. This Ace of Swords. You want a new start by way of communication. You want to clear the air. Now it could be for the better. It could be for what we would deem as the worst whatever it's just spoken communication it also could be uh, written but it's communication by way of word yeah. anyhow um are you on your right path to a pentacle you're definitely trying to weigh up two very real options you've got two two either two people two different ways to go two very real two Two options that have manifest for you. This could be singlehood and going into a relationship, being a couple. This could be moving. Do I stay or do I go? I mean, two very real options here. Weighing the pros and the cons. All right, so that's where you are. What's help, what, um, your main obstacle? <laughs> the obstacle is a new start. It's having the courage to have a new start by way of not even knowing what's going to happen next. You know, the fool just takes that leap. And it's starting over. Some of you, this is your obstacle. You don't want to start over. You're weighing that up. Like, do I really want to start over? Whatever over is to you. In a new relationship. A new job. I mean, a, a new place of residence. Do I want to start over? I'm trying to weigh this up. What's helping you? The star card. Wish fulfillment. Healing. Restoration. Going deep within yourself. That deep thought about what it is you, you bring to a table. Mm, not the table, but but a table, because you got options here. What it is you expect and what you want could be dealing with an Aquarian person. This is what's helping you. Helping you is you getting into a place of understanding that you have to give to receive. You have to let go in order for it to come back. You can't hold on by way of manipulation, lies, and just being muffled in trepidation, scared to allow what is natural to happen. That's almost like the full card. Hmm. Okay. What can uh, help you here? The advice. 
six of cups you see how the the boy gives to the girl you know back to giving and receiving what can help you here is going looking at the past look at what you've done look at what you've had look at what you've utterly destroyed or, or caused the demise of um, what you didn't put energy into what you didn't cultivate and give to and what happened there uh, process all those emotions so you can move forward or you're going to have the same outcome going forward. You're so scared and you've been operating from a place of lack that you can't even... Or someone's been doing this to you, Gemini. I don't. They're so scared. To be a person from your past too. You know, um, take the leap of faith here because, um, and, and speak your truth in regards to a particular person, Aquarius, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I mean, we got everybody, Capricorn, Virgo, so we got everybody here. Um, yeah, speak your truth in regards to dealing with this person. Let's see. Speak how you feel about this. You, you get ready to lose something or lose somebody. Or if you want to lose something or somebody, you need to heal from the past. And, you, and you're afraid to walk away from. Then the cards say, you know, exactly what it is you're feeling. You just, you're just scared. The hermit. What? Well, yeah. Some of you need to walk away from, you need to do some deep soul searching. Think about what you did in the past so you can move forward and act differently going forward. That's what the Hermit does, self-reflection. In regards to maybe Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. In regards to your emotions. Okay. Yeah, in regards to relationship, we've got the King and Queen of Cups. You know, think about what you did or what you didn't do here. How you weren't open to love or someone else wasn't. Six of Cups again. Yeah, you got to heal from the past. What's here? What is here? What's here? Yeah. It might have been, to be a Piscean person too. It might have been secrets and or lies or another woman or man somebody found out about. It may have just, yeah, secrets and lies. You, you got to be strong in moving forward and getting over the heartbreak, getting over the divorce, the separation, the infidelity. You have to do that. Some of you are just scared. Just, it's nothing but fear here. And it says you have to have courage, you have to have strength. Gemini be focused on. Gemini, you've been getting this reading for a while. It's like the same reading. Sentimental feelings. Be true to you. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's like some of you are scared to walk away from because you, you feel like you don't have anything to walk away to. And you're waiting for an opportunity. And then you're going to walk away. Which is... Mm, selfish and manipulative. But whatever. Self-care, join in. Body changes. Okay. Religion, spirituality, join in, self-care, gracefully age, aging, be true to you. All right, so for some of you, it's like health care issues, um, body changes, uh, 
maybe you, you've lost weight or you gained weight there's been some change here you need to maybe a new exercise program join a gym join a group of people who share your same interests or you have done that or you know or you're in the yeah you're in the process of doing that you're being true to who you want to be uh, sentimental feelings keep you wrapped in a situation that just no longer serves you the sentiment of if I leave then I won't have then I you, you keep looking at the, the lack of you know, uh, let's get some angel answers in here. Religion and spirituality will help you get to a place of understanding, healing, and hopefully abundance. Whatever that looks like for you. Alright, so if you have questions out there, here are your answers. Angel answers. First one, abundance. Wow. Nice. You could have this with someone if you speak your truth, um, or you, yeah, it'd be decisive and, and and divide yourself three of swords from a situation that just doesn't serve. The situation will improve. Whoa, we'll take the ones that flipped over. Listen to your intuition. In the near future, if you believe, okay. Bottom of the deck, romance. This was off camera for you too. Some of you, you have what you may deem as a soulmate or a wish fulfillment in a person. You haven't told them you want to go back to them. You want to, um, you want to cultivate something with them. Look at how the situation ended in the past and try to move forward differently. For some of you, it's a relationship where you, it has been long overdue you have dragged it out the other person has dragged it out um you guys are comfortable in it being completely drug just done but staying at the same time um <clears throat> i don't know romance for some of you some of you it ain't even no love so how you have romance okay so if this well hold on, let's see let's do a yes or no spread for a gemini so you can get a yes or no spread. It's, it would be you having a yes or no question. <laughs> and um, the yes or no spread is $10. Whatever you want to know, you can request that via email. Send me an email. My email address is below. Or go over to the website and book the yes or no spread. And get your answers by way of the tarot. Alright? Okay. So, will, will Gemini speak their truth? Because before we have the Ace of Swords. Will Gemini speak their truth? We'll say it's Gemini. Will this person or Gemini speak their truth? What will we? Gemini. Another person. deck upright is justice page of wands in reverse looks like nobody's going to speak three of cups but wanting reconciliation uh, ace of pentacles in reverse you can't get it upright unless you speak so speak your truth uh gemini or the other person you cross watcher because it brings you some some the karmic scales are then balanced what's due to you comes to you speak your truth because you can then have celebration for self um, with others or you can have reconciliation if that is what you're, you're looking for you could possibly have some real solid true relationship be solidified by way of um, engagement moving in together just a long haul here but only if you speak and you're not so 
speak your truth so no one's speaking truth right now but it's some really good energy if they if they do or if you do so if this message resonated with you please like share comment subscribe to the channel it's much appreciated make sure you're commenting below um just to help other gemini's out also um because you know it's so funny some sometimes you're going through the same thing that another person is going through on the other side of the world and it's crazy i've i've been in those comment sections and i'm like wow that's my situation yeah, but anyhow know that i'm praying for you jim and i pray for me as well um go over to the website request the yes or no spread or a full reading take care guys